Hello, thank you for tuning in to another reading lesson today. Today um, I've got another expository text to read to you. This one's called Homes. Um, now in this book, this is an expository book and it's about many of the different ways that science is at work in our in our houses. Um, and since this is an expository text, we're going to see many text features along the way. So let's just review what some text features are that we've learned about so far. Summaries, we'll read the summary on this one first thing. Table of contents, index, and glossary. Okay, well, let's start with the summary. Summaries are frequently on the back. This one says, discover the science behind homes. You will learn about the types of materials that go into building a home and the appliances used in a home. You will also find out how homes get water and electricity. The science behind makes learning core science curriculum fun. Each title in the series breaks down one topic in a clear and understandable way. All right, so based on that, what do you expect to learn from this book? Tell somebody that's nearby or just think to yourself. What do you expect to learn about this, about homes in this book? All right, let's open it up and see. So here's another text feature. Here's our table of contents. These are all the different parts in the book. Um, we could jump to any section that we wanted to. We wouldn't have to read this book in any order. Um, we are going to start on page four, though. The science in your home. What is a home? A home is a place that gives you shelter and keeps you safe. It protects you from the cold from hot sunshine, and from wind and rain. Inside is a space where you can play, sleep, cook, eat, and wash. You might have lived in your home for a long time. You probably do not think about how your home keeps you warm or why water comes out of the kitchen faucet or about the materials it is made of. You might not know it, but science is at work everywhere in your home. If you learn about this science, you can understand how your home works. Okay, so let's focus in on this page here. There are some um, captions. It says, these are just some of the parts of a house that use science to make them work. We've got the roof tiles. Here's the drain, the walls. There's electric lights and the floor. So here's my first question. What did you learn from this diagram about the parts of a house that use science? Turn and tell someone nearby or think it to yourself. Okay, this next section is all about building homes. Imagine taking the furniture, carpets, curtains, and all the other things out of your home. What would be left? Well, the answer is walls, floors, and a roof. These parts make up the structure of your home. In some homes, the walls are made up of materials such as stone, brick, or concrete. These are very strong materials. They hold up the floors and the roof. There are holes in the walls for windows and doors. Here's a caption here for this picture, and it says a house stays dry inside when it rains, and this is because the roof is made from waterproof tiles. These will not let any water soak through. What kind of material do you think would be good for building a house and why? Tell someone nearby or tell yourself. Okay, this last section that we're going to read for today is about building materials. Materials that are often used for building homes are wood, brick, stone, concrete, steel, glass, and plastic. 
Each of these, these materials has its own properties. The properties of a material include how strong it is, how easily it bends, how easy it is to cut, and its texture. Builders choose material for building homes because of their properties. So here's a little question. It says, do you know what materials your house is built from? Okay, well, let's pause there and th think to ourselves: what did we learn from reading today? And what do you wonder? What did you learn and what do you wonder? Tell someone that's nearby or say it to yourself. All right, well, um, this is a long book um, and it's probably gonna take us maybe two more video lessons to get through it. So tune in next time for the next section of homes. Now it's your turn to read. So go get a really good book that you feel like is just right for you. Find a really comfortable and quiet place in your house or if it's a nice sunny day, family says it's okay and head outside with your book and read. Remember at least 20 minutes. And if you can read longer, awesome. Grow that brain. Have a good day.